Well, the game uh, New York against uh, from the USA against uh, Manu Triton. Um, I think Triton will uh, win. Um, that would be my guess. And my, that's my, my personal um, um, guess. Um, but it will not be an easy game for Mami Triton. Uh, New York uh, did fight quite well. So uh, I guess they even the New York uh, has a good chance to score uh, against Triton. Um, let's see. I think uh, Anne Sophie is the uh, only girl yeah. playing uh, in the yeah. Champions Cup. No, in the Champions Cup with uh, men. Ah, no, we have in. No, 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 we have in. New York, and we have two girls. In Australia. 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 Yes. Well, New York play against Barcelona the first match today and lost zero to one. So now against Malmo, Malmo play against um, Molde, and they lost. 9 or 10 zero, something like that. So, I don't know, let's see. In Barcelona, we show how Barcelona fought against Molde. So maybe, might be quite an interesting game. But yeah, probably Malmo is going to win. Those are the old time all-time favorites right i mean when you see new teams coming up and then you see swedish team then you think well it's going to win or you see norway you say it's going to win or yeah. finland or germany and then you have a surprise so um urban if we're watching the game right now um they're in the umea uh, hello to you and your family hello to linea uh, we miss you here in uh, in berlin you have been our only Manu Triton uh, player. So yeah, hello to Umea. And um, Urban just told me, which is quite interesting, in Umea, they, in Sweden, which is a country which is quite uh, lacking behind right now uh, in underwater rugby, but they build a pool only for underwater rugby, even with the markings well. and with a bolted, uh, uh, yeah, with bolted, uh, uh, goals on the bottom, and uh, it's the the players of uh, Umea had uh, from Mami Triton did have a saying in building of the pool. So this is uh, important knowledge about uh, Sweden, one of the uh, well uh, countries we don't know a lot about uh, because there is not much information coming. Yeah, interesting because. Uh, we know that you know rugby is not doing so well in Sweden, so it's, it's nice to hear that the school has been built. Yeah. Okay. So here Back we go. The game. In the game, uh, USA in blue and uh, Sweden in uh, white. And uh, USA is going on the attack and uh, lost uh, the ball to Sweden, but recovered it. And uh, they start quite uh, fast and heavy. Uh, one on the open side already waiting, uh, getting the ball, tackled away. Surprise Sweden and don't give anybody the chance yeah. that, that, that they might be weak. Or Going in with everything you have in the first second to score, but now Sweden uh, recovered. There's a call from the referee. It looks like holding without ball. And it's a free throw against yes, Sweden. Well, well, but interesting because they have start quite strong, the US team, and they're doing a good job. So we're back in the, the high movement camera and uh, uh, Newark is at the basket of Mami Triton and pushing really hard. Uh, one, two, three player, one in the middle, one in the open side. But uh, Newark doesn't succeed to bring the ball from the corner, from the close side over to the waiting players at the uh, basket. So now we have an attack one on one. Uh, Anne Sophie is lying in defense. She's doing a good job keeping the attackers away with her fins. So, uh, what? Well she's lying there for quite a long time now. Yep. 
Um, here we go, another player waiting at the open side, uh, but uh, they don't succeed to pass on the, the wall to him. So uh, cluster on the surface, and the Swedish player are trying to push the cluster into the half of um, Newmark to be over the basket, and they succeeded quite good. So we're in the half uh, of Newark, so um, Newark has to go in defense, and. Uh, now Mane is starting their attack from the open side over the basket uh, but the attacker lost the ball and it was recovered by a Newark player called from a referee Foul. probably pushing holding holding on the basket um, free throw against Newark and uh, this gives uh, Triton, Mane Triton a chance to Built up. Uh, wow, they that's didn't succeed. Wow, was amazing counter attack from the US. There we the, know the that's ball that's was a bit pushed just away uh, out of the cluster around the goal. Yeah, and sadly, I mean, they couldn't go through with a counter attack, but they are really moving the ball very open, very free. Colombia style, the mask. I mean, that's one Swedish uh, player took the head of one of the US players in between the legs and the mask uh, was just completely removed and of course they got a free throw against the, the um, Sweden three meters away from uh, the goal and let's see how they execute the free throw they have it they're passing the ball they're moving the ball quite fast they're getting into position also quite fast and I don't think Sweden is realizing danger um, it is. It is a real. Uh, it is a real danger. And I think uh, in, the, in, in this first minutes we saw uh, the USA they is dominating the game. They are constantly attacking. Yeah. Like we have the, the the feeling have ten blue players. Yeah. Yeah. Ten, uh, they want. US here we go. We have the ball on on the, uh, uh, from the top over the goalie, but uh, this is getting physical and quite uh, skirmishing, dog fighting. Uh, this looks. That looks also like I. Sh yeah. Should have maybe stop it. <laughs> that well, it was not. It was not in front of the throat. So yeah. now uh, Mum is pushing and from that, the open that was side. That a close one, but the US the goalkeeper. The ball. It's too. You cannot get the ball so close from the goal and don't just run away or swim away, because it's so risky. You cannot just get the ball and then start. Um, looking around where to move like um, the one player there you need to just take that ball out of the area so the team can recover call from the referees they interrupted the attack uh, it was uh, the referee on the surface free throw against Sweden Well done, uh, uh, USA. I'm a little bit surprised. I thought it would be uh, more. Uh, well, you know that the that the US uh, um, team had a, l uh, a lot of uh, Colombian players. You know, the, uh, as we were talking before, I mean, a lot of Colombia's um, players moved to the US and Canada and start. So they had the Colombian style and have some. You can see the way they move, they swim. I mean, that's that's in the Colombian style. It's so easy to recognize. It's so much different from ours. And now. Oh, we this have is a good chance. We have now at least four Malmö players whoa, whoa, whoa. at the basket uh, of Newark. And but they recover. That's amazing. I mean, at the, at the moment, for a the moment there, I thought it was a three-turn basket. <laughs> yeah. Ow! Oh, this was, a, was a kick. bad kick in the face. Uh, when one of the Triton players tried to attack the goalkeeper and swam into the fins of the goalkeeper and got the kick in the face. Um, as you might know, you're not allowed to kick. Um, no? no, why not? Yeah, if well, I, I get a lot of kicks in our exercises, but uh, I know, I was just from kidding. people who know to do better. But uh, normally you're only allowed, this was a, a, a timeout. Uh, you're only allowed to make contact with your foot and then you're allowed to push, but not, not uh, to kick. contact with a push. Yeah. So no, that's the difference. I mean, and being a goalkeeper is just such a, a difficult task to have such a fine motoric 
Uh, hey, being, being a defender is also quite difficult. To reach, you know, the shoulder and then push the player away without breaking the nose <laughs> on one try. Yeah, well, it's um, sometimes it happens uh, accidentally. There was a discussion on Sunday Ford, and we had it with the U21 uh, um, Colombian players. We are uh, at the U.S. basket. And still 0-0. Zero zero. Uh, very good game for from both teams. Yeah. Um, I think they are uh, equal with a little bit uh, uh, advantage on the American side. You think that the Americans are dominating a little bit? Um, in the beginning, yes. Now it, it changes yeah. a little bit. Um, I think we, we spend they more time now at the U.S. basket. They have moments. Sometimes it's uh, dominated by the U.S. and sometimes it's dominated by, by Sweden. Yeah. I mean they're like... But Malmo is really recovering from the first surprise because I don't think they expected it to be this hard. Yes, we had, we so had a lot of... So now they're yes. having a little bit more yes. of rhythm in their game. At the beginning yeah. it was very chaotic and they were like, what the hell, you know, like what yeah. was going on here? Yeah. We were supposed to be attacking the, like that. Yeah. It's amazing how you can read the, read the yes, bad language yes. of these emotions, yes. you know, this surprise or this anger or this frustration. Call from the referees, uh, from the referee on the surface. Two minutes left. So, uh, Yeah, we have uh, one of the Colombian players here with us. Uh, just had a look at the uh, at the screen, and they were quite happy for what they did. Super cool. Tenemos visita people. de Colombia. <laughs> All right. Good night, guys. <laughs> See you Good later. Night. So back in the game. Uh, back in the game here uh, again. Uh, like in the beginning and it's back and forth between uh, America and uh, um, and Sweden. Uh, one attack, one, one, uh, some seconds attack on the Swedish basket, some seconds uh, it changes with a counter attack in direction of the American basket. Call from the referee. I couldn't understand. Um, didn't understand it either. Uh, it's a free throw and already um, one of the US players tried to steal away the basket from uh, the Triton players. Didn't succeed. And uh, there is a timeout again now. So, yes. Uh, um, we have a, a great connection, uh, as we already probably told, to the Colombian players, um, to the Orcas, and uh, they spend a lot of time with us at our home, uh, Samuel, uh, Pacho, and uh, Federico too, and uh, they're really great people dedicating their life to underwater rugby, and uh, it's always impressive to see what they do. How much work. Because yeah, and, the and they it's not just the teaching of rugby no. and the training. They train six days a week, yes. twice a day, with the you know U21, U18, with the girls, with the boys. And on top of that, they need to raise money. They work all year around planning uh, the, 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 yeah. the Champions Cup. And they need to... Uh, to do uh, you know a lot of things to collect money because they otherwise it, it cannot afford and yeah and that's it it's, it's easy to to play uh, if you if you have the money and, uh, and the infrastructure yeah. and everything but yeah. really in Colombia uh, here we are back in the game and okay. it's almost the first end of the first half uh, uh, nine seconds eight seconds of Sweden against America and it's a zero zero and uh, I have to admit I'm a little bit surprised I would have guessed um, um I thought that by now they would have been like one or two zero yeah I think uh, at least uh, one uh, zero for 
uh, Malmö with with more experience and but they did quite well um, America and I don't see it uh, out of arrogance I say it uh, with not knowing their style of, of playing and their experience and they give uh, Malmö Trichin really a hard time um, and that's yeah that's impressive so yeah the Colombians um, they're really like uh, the the Turk Turks um, oh we are already in the game no no two minutes to go to the second half um, I'm really looking forward to the second half. I mean, I like yeah, me too. Uh, I, nice I couldn't, game, I couldn't say, surprises. I couldn't say uh, who will win. These no. are one of the games. It's they really, really tight. Yeah, um, yeah. Colombia, like uh, Turkey, are really like uh, the the forefront of uh, underwater rugby. What uh, Colombia and Turkey do, the people dedicated to the sport, like Tarkan. Again. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Like uh, Tarkan, Samuel, Biorkas, uh, it's it's amazing how fast and big uh, on water rugby develops in these countries. We have to watch them and we have to learn from them. Okay, back in the game, second half. Um, I don't have a guess anymore. There's a discussion now with the uh, uh, team captains and the referee. The, the, the time is going quite quick. <laughs> Probably they were starting in, yeah. There's something wrong with the clock. Um, but time is uh, only imagination. Time is relative. Yeah. So some kind of discussion there. Um, probably we could have the uh, surface camera giving us a... a a view of uh, what is uh, what they are uh, discussing or what they're looking at. Uh, now uh, the Swedish team captain goes back to his team to tell them the good news, and uh, the U.S. captain uh, swimming back too. Time stopped now. I uh, think the game will start soon. Here we go, second half. Let's see what time uh, is left. Yeah, I, but the uh, time is wrong. Yeah, the time is wrong, but I took took the time so we can have a, a view on it. So we are still in the first half. Interesting. Lost the time. Heavily attacked. Oh, that was close. That was really close. Uh, two times the, the ball was uh, snatched away by the Swedish player right over the basket of an empty basket. And uh, that was a close call. And now the Mami Kriton players are trying a counter attack in the last seconds of the first half. 3 2 1. Okay, this is the end of the first half. Yeah, no, I don't understand what happened before. No, no, neither do I. What? Um, two and a half minutes now until the second half, and we still don't know what we thought that. Uh, well, the first half was over. Yeah. Um, Confused, Maybe we were two timeouts and uh, we got yeah, we were uh, confused. Maybe confused because we are farther away. I mean, the, the pool is in that direction, yeah, and we're here a bit farther away, so we don't, don't get to see. And what we don't see on the screen, we cannot comment. No. So, for those uh, in America who are watching, you're watching the uh, Champions Cup 2016, which is the 28th Champions Cup uh, in history. And it's the biggest underwater rugby event in the world. We have 24 teams from 14 countries, uh, 14 men teams and 10 women teams. And altogether, there are teams from three different continents. And um, 
I'm Wolf from the Berlin Sporthauer and this is Lorena from the Berlin Sporthauer. Um, she's a world champion, I'm not. That makes you happy? Yeah. Uh, me too. Well, I'm, I get something from rubs up. It's just like, yes, it smells like champion. Um, yeah, we are both referees, um, both uh, licensed referees for underwater rugby, and we are both uh, coaches. And uh, yeah. we're. And it's, the clock is going crazy again, so it's not us. <laughs> Maybe we just imagine it. Um, you interrupted me. I lost my Sorry. path. We are referees. We are, and re we are referees and trainers. Yeah. And we do the comments for you. Um, that's the third time we do the comments. The third year. Uh, the third year for the Champions Cup. I think we last, the two years ago, we were the first one who do the comments uh, non-stop uh, for, for the games, days, yeah. two, two and a half days, um, and which is, I think, the only way to do it. Uh, stay in the game, do the comments, and keep uh, people who are just listening to it uh, in the game so they know what's happening without watching the, the, the yeah, uh, screen. Yeah, I mean, not everyone has the time to, to be sitting and uh, watching all day yes, long rugby. Exactly. So at least, as, as Wolf said, if you're working and doing stuff, at least uh, you can listen to us, like it's a podcast or radio or so, and so we provide both yeah. services. Because with uh, all the time, not everybody has all the time like to watch all these games. <laughs> You just miss an Australian coach being very happy with a white smile walking out of here. <laughs> so um, back into the game. Yeah, back into the unpredictable game. Um, both teams uh, will have a tough pet talk uh, in this uh, break, what they should uh, achieve. And we see Malmö Triton going in quite uh, um, heavy. And this is a dangerous point when you fight for the uh, ball you're kept on one foot and you turn around uh, I had a break in my uh, uh, chin bones um, you had a what? It, it, in the, the, the shins yes in the bones between the bones there's a structure ah, broke in one a, of yeah. these actions yep. that was quite dangerous now we are in the corner sorry in the corner um, of the Newark um, Basket. It's not clear. Okay. So it looks like a little bit uh, um, Malmö plays more aggressive, more uh, uh, into it than the in the, right in the now, first yeah, half. Right now, yeah, it looks yeah. more focused, and they have more, or at least uh, US uh, is not able to break the uh, the attack. Now it looks faster for me. Is, you yeah. need to find a way yeah. to break the tactic of the opponent, and then you can start doing your game. But until then, you are l um, yeah, left uh, to suffer. So, it. but uh, um, in spite of the furious attack, um, USA recover the ball. It's not going oh. in high on the goalkeeper. The attacker loses the ball, which was recovered by his teammate, who is going over. The whole it's a goal cluster against three US uh, players, and the, he saves the situation. I mean, this, this is, is this is the stability of a, yeah. the experience of a team like uh, Malmo. I, I mean think we will see a, a goal th uh, soon because the, oh, the oh, both teams are risking. And wow, and that was close to yes. kicking. That was more like a, like a it's, like it's a getting more physical here. because Malmo Triton really goes into it, and, and we have I counter attack one on oh, one. No, no, He's coming in from the open side, wrapped around the goalkeeper and that tries to push really away. was really uh, dangerous, but they recover the ball and then doing a counter-attack now. Um, Malmo recovered the ball, it's a counter-counter-attack. It's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> it's like ping-pong. Yeah, and we have seven minutes left in the uh, second half. They recover the ball very good and, and defend and do the counter-attack, but they should take a moment. Uh, 
to open up to rest a little bit because after three to four times doing this then one of the teams is going to make a mistake and if the other one is clever enough and, yeah. and, and can just you know just bite it through then you make the goal we see both teams uh, playing with more, with a higher risk um, than before Oh, poor and Sophie. I mean, three guys took her uh, apart, but she, you know, kept the ball for the team. It's really fast. Right now, it's faster than before. Yeah, I mean, both and, teams and more are physical, decide, I think. Are decide that yeah. they are going to Now score. we have an attack from the open side. Uh, um, Mami is going to push with real mighty force into the open side, but is tackled away um, by the US players. And we're at the surface. And the U.S. recover the ball, but are stopped in the middle. And uh, still, and it's amazing because we don't see right now that from the condition that they are in a stress or so they are recovering. No, they, and maybe then you yeah, have the, the feeling that you have tired. ten players on the water. I mean, they they are have very strong presence on the water. Both, I mean, Malmo and uh, New York. I have to admit, it's not a beautiful game. It's uh, physical and uh, um, forceful game. But both teams uh, now, they, they definitely want to score. Now it's a call from a referee. Free throw uh, against Malmö. Um, someone, I mean, um, Thomas is asking that Polisen won the championship in Sweden and why is, is Malmö? I don't know who win the championship in Sweden, but the rules of the Champion Cup say that the first, the winner comes, and if the winner, the winner doesn't want to come or cannot come, then the second best can come. And if the second best cannot come for whatever reason, then the third best can come. And so that's why if Polisen is not here because they decided against it, and then Malmo was allowed to come. That's how it worked. The same situation as uh, many times before. We had an attack from uh, Newark on the basket. Um, of uh, Malmö. Malmö recovered the, uh, the ball and started the counter-attack with three players was stopped in front of the US basket. Uh, the US recovered the ball and it's a back and forth and it's, it's, it's really um, physical and fast and both teams don't seem to lose concentration and we have four minutes left in the second half of uh, America against uh, Sweden and I couldn't predict the outcome. Um, both teams are putting each other on the high pressure. Yeah, definitely. Very much. And I mean, four minutes to go, and they want to achieve a point. I mean, a call from the referee. Um, free throw. It was a, a, a attack on the head. Free throw against uh, Malmö. And I think uh, we will see a goal in this game, but it will almost be pure luck which one will be the first because the problem both teams is, look Newark play already against Barcelona and they lost 1-0 and they're going to play against Mold and they're going to lose so they yeah. they won it's the same case as the Australian against Vienna they won because it's the only chance the game that they can win and Malmö uh, already lost against uh, Molde and against Barcelona yeah, the, the we don't know same situation so again um, attack from Newark didn't work out um, now we see a uh, counter-attack from uh, uh, Mami Triton was stopped before the basket of uh, the U.S. by a heavy forward checking. Uh, U.S. recover the ball, try to counter-attack, stop in the middle. Uh, this is getting faster and faster physical. And you, you see the movements are really um, abrupt, really, really hard uh, on each other. They will feel this game uh, when they lie in the bed tonight. I'm quite sure. Um, <laughs> so uh, here again, uh, Newark is an attack, and they should stop a little bit and build up because, like this. They, they, yeah, yeah, but you see, they, they want exactly this. This a is a chance. This exactly. is it. Exactly. Yeah. This is the big mistake. If you don't stop to organize an attack and give you a breath yeah. after ten times you've done that, then yeah. something like this happens. But, but but this was was uh, meant to happen. Uh, could have been uh, Newark too. Uh, who scored, but now Mami Triton scored. Um, and they did it quite well. It was one on one, and uh, one of these countless counter attacks we saw from each other. Call from the referees. They're going up to the surface. 
Uh, Bob Robinson, the referee, the referee, is pointing to one player. Probably a warning and uh, free throw against America. And one of the po uh, Malmö players already stole the basket away, uh, but couldn't, but didn't succeed. Well, right now, I think, you know, there's not much left for new work because it's one minute well, 20 uh, okay, okay. and anything yeah. can happen, but... But, uh, but now, um, Mount Nutrition can play safe and they only have a little bit more than a minute. Um, but uh, you see the Americans really go in. They want to equalize they want to have the chance they take every second um, and again call from the referee uh, free throw against America Vince Newmark <coughs> 35 seconds left and Malmo barely won this game for a very big mistake from Newark yeah but uh, it, it could have been vice versa. It, it could yes, have been yes, on the yes, other yes, side yes, too. Finally, yeah. finally. So 20 seconds. Um, it's well earned by uh, Malmö Triton. Definitely, yeah. But I mean, any, both of them. Exactly, have exactly. That's what I wanted to say. Both teams could have uh, win this game, and uh, it would be fair enough. Um, I think they were quite equal in the, in the way they played, and especially the second half was. Uh, oh, we had a leaf, a tree leaf swimming in the pool. Somebody didn't, didn't shower. Time. So this was uh, um, not yet the last game. Uh, we have one more game, uh, which is uh, Akaren from Norway against uh, Wien, which will be the last day of the game. But this 1-0, uh, um, a 1-0 for Malmö Triton. Um, ah, wrong. 